Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Transfer Daily, really really exciting news regarding Mislav Orsic, finally, looks like the deal is getting underway, now there has been contact which is, has officially been made, uh, Joe Massey from the Express and Stars reported it, Sky Sports have reported it, and I think, is it John Percy from the Telegraph, he's reported it as well. Now, these links are really strong now. It, these are no longer rumours. This is actually happening, guys. Like, this is incredible. Um, the fees believed to be around £8 million that West Brom want to pay. Um, you know, Slaven Bilic has missed Lavosic as his primary target, his fellow countrymen. Now, he scored 17 goals this season, guys, and five of, that, five of them have come in the Champions League, including a hat-trick against Atlanta. Now, that is just incredible that we're even getting linked with a Champions League player. You know, Dynamo Zagreb probably won't want to let him go, but um, obviously Mislav Orsic will probably be keen to be joining Slaven Bilic, who's a really good manager. But guys, this looks like it's going to happen now. Um, all the, all we need now is an actual bid to be made. There's there's 100%, you know, being contact made. Um, you know, Dynamo Zagreb are reportedly wanting £9 million for him. And like I've said in my past videos, he's a really versatile player. He can play on the wing, he can play up front. And I think this is a really good option for us. It's really exciting times. Um, on top of that, um, Slaven Bilic has now come out and said, not only said he just wants Orsic, he's saying that he wants at least two attacking players at the club. Um, he's meant to have drawn up a short list. Um, no one's actually said who the other two are, but I believe that it could be one of them could be Lyle Taylor. I think Joe Massey from the Express and Star um, is thinking that as well, but he hasn't reported it because he doesn't know anything concrete. Uh, but Lyle Taylor's contract is ha he did refuse a contract earlier this month for Charlton, and he is looking to move a for a move away from the club. Do you think Lyle Taylor would be a good option? Now the other one being mentioned is Carl M. Grant, but I cannot see this one happening. I really cannot like if we're going to be spending eight nine million on Mislav Orsic, I can't see us spending at least twelve or fifteen million on you know Carl and Grant. I just don't think it's possible possible for the club to do that. But like I say, guys, this is really really exciting news. Um, hopefully, in the next coming days, he'll be holding a West Brom shirt and he would have officially signed. Um, now I have been like scouting the web and stuff like that and. He, he just seems like a really, really good player. He's got a lot of pace. Um, I saw a couple of things saying he isn't that good at crossing the ball and stuff like that. But, you know, we're all guilty of going on YouTube and looking at compilations for this guy. Because I, I've done it. I, I literally, a couple of days ago, I went on there and looked at a compilation of him. And he looks incredible. And I know you can't always judge a player by the way they look on YouTube and stuff like that. But you know what? To, ha to even have a player who's played in the Champions League against all the top clubs, that's incredible really. And if we can get this one over the line, then I, 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 I literally commend Slaven Bilic and, you know, Dowling and stuff like that. Hopefully we can get this one done. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think, guys. Looks like it's going to happen, so come on Albion.